Hi, my name is Justin Allen from Parking Pneumatic Division here in Richland, Michigan. Today I'll be talking about configuring your multiple pressure zones for the ISIS micro manifold. Let's get started. Alright, so let's start with our first, first example. Um, and for the purpose of these examples, we'll call this manifold slice, manifold slice 1, this manifold slice, manifold slice 2, and we'll label our valves on each manifold slice A, B, C, and D respectively. So for our first example, let's say we wanted valve B on manifold slice 2 to shift at a lower pressure than the rest of our valves in our manifold bank. So the valve that's the pressure that shifts the majority of our valves, we'll call that pressure 1, and then the pressure that shifts valve B on manifold slice 2, we'll call that pressure 2. So air will come in through your main inlet port, so our pressure will come in through your main inlet port, and that pressure will come up and it'll pass through this end plate and through this end plate galleys, and we'll have a PSM0001 gasket, which comes shipped with your product naturally. Uh, you also have the option of ordering different gaskets depending on how many gallons you want closed. And we have four different gaskets you can order from so that you have maximum flexibility with your system. So we'll put the, this gasket with all galleys open in between your electrical end plate and manifold slice one. Let's do that right quick. So air will come through and it'll feed all these valves with pressure one. Now remember, we want valve B on manifold slice two to shift at pressure two, which is the lower pressure. So how can we do this? Well, we have a gasket uh, that has one galley blocked for either your front row valves or your back row valves. It's reversible. So depending on which row valves you want blocked will depend on how you will place your gasket. So since we want our back row valves not to receive any air from pressure one or any pressure from pressure one, we'll put this between manifold slice one manifold slice 2. Right. And between our left end plate, or non-electrical end plate in manifold slice 2, we need to make sure that we trap that air from pressure 1 so that it doesn't mix in with the back row valves that's going to be pressurized with pressure two. So we'll close this back row valves off with another one of those gaskets that was placed in between manifold slice one and manifold slice two. So let's close this up now. Now that we've isolated our back row valves on manifold slice two, from our pressure one, you're probably wondering how we're going to bring in pressure two. Well, we're going to do this by using our corresponding cylinder port uh, to the valve location of where we're actually trying to bring our pressure in. Uh, but in order to do that, we need to have a intermediate air supply base. So really you're replacing one of your valves with this base. Um, we put it in the position of where you're actually trying to bring your air in. And so in this case, we're trying to shift valve B on manifold slice 2 at pressure 2. So we'll bring in our pressure th through the corresponding cylinder port that our supply base is on, which is this port right here, and it corresponds to this valve location right here because that's where our base is at. And that allows air to shift to the left and feed men of our feed feed valve B pressure two. And that's pretty much how you configure those different um, pressure zones. In the example I just showed you, we use two different gaskets. Um, one of the gaskets that we use, uh, all galleys were open to allow air to flow through all your different galleys. We also had a gasket that blocked one of your galleys, um, either the, to, the flow path for air to be received for your front row valves or your back row valves. 
um, just depending on how you flip the gasket in your application. But we also have two different gaskets you can um, order separately. We have a gasket that has your common exhaust port blocked and one of those, either your front row uh, of valves or your back row of valves airway blocked. In addition to that, we have a gasket that um, has all galleys blocked and this isolates different manifold sizes within your manifold bank. Utilizing these different types of gaskets allows flexibility to solve many different types of applications. Here are some examples.